So we're underway, and it's Tonga in the red, New Zealand in the white in this match. Ali. Impatient play by New Zealand. Oh, and patient until Manikin has a crack. And New Zealand score from their first real chance in the game. Just created space for himself and then buried it to Dylan Manikin. Wisniewski. Almost a second right there. Ali hitting the post. He's still got another chance. Almost a brilliantly worked move again. On a lot of Aho. Oh. And that was a uh, worth a crack uh, from long range on New Zealand's Patrick Steele. Ali. It's a good turn for New Zealand. Yes, this is looking promising for Didfit. Sneaking in there behind. Oh, he tried the spectacular finish. Ended up not getting anywhere near it. And now here comes Polavili. Oh, he's lost it to Didford. And now New Zealand will calm it down again. Here's Sharplin. Now over to Martin again. Oh, they were looking for that little deflection play. It wasn't far away either. As Casey Sharplin raced in there. Tonga's tactics are pretty clear, aren't they? They're just going to play direct. And not be shy on putting on putting up shots, but New Zealand have got the ball back again. Sharplin, that's a good ball. Back to Martin. What to call all. Saves twice. Good stops by the Tongan keeper. And now it's a three on one situation. Here's a chance. Tonga with a big chance there to equalise. Ray. So uh, Coach Marvin Eakin's giving all of these players a bit of a run at the moment. And there's another good stop by Otakolu. Here's a chance for New Zealand again. Now the keeper's in trouble. Couldn't quite swing it back to Hamish Gray. Yes, yeah, simple finish there. And there's a goal. Stephen Ashby Peckham scored it for New Zealand. A simple play there that confused the defence from Tonga and it's Stephen Ashby Peckham Ali able to turn long ranger Stephen Ashby Peckham with a second and that was a beauty Second goal for him in the game and his 14th in his New Zealand career. And that was sweet, that one. What a beauty. 3 0 is the score. And it can once more. And in space. Oh, here's a walk in goal. Beautifully finished, I think, Didfitz. Walked it in, but has been taken out and scoring that goal. Hope Jordy did if it's okay. No power on that shot. A sharp and easily cuts that out. And there is an interesting challenge right there. If Martin had got clear of his defender there, that might have really opened up for New Zealand. So Tongan's fouling has got them in a bit of trouble here. And there's another goal well converted there by Ethan Martin. And it's 5 to nil. So another score there for Martin. As he got it through, Otakolo. But with 4.58 still to play. Oh, it's gone in again. Otakolo couldn't stop it. Our Twig's got the last touch for... New Zealand. So Twig gets on the score sheet. It's his third goal for New Zealand, his first of the tournament. And Art Twig from Auckland City. Look at him sneaking in there. 
Always, you never know when a rebound might come off the keeper. Hawkins. Early ball this time. Twig trying to put on a show. Here comes Hawkins. That's how to do it. Oban Hawkins. The very tidy goal right there for New Zealand. And it's 7-0. Very nice from Hawkins. The only South Islander in the New Zealand team. And Hawkins celebrates. That's his seventh, eighth goal for New Zealand. Could be more coming right here. Almost sneaking through to score again was Ali. What the call off. Good turn. Here comes Kefu. Good stop that time by Patrick Steele. Well, that was excellent play from Christopher Kefu. Ali. Back to Gray. Oh, that's lovely. Class. That one right there. Rahan Ali with the last uh, touch. That was really tidy. Very nice from Ali. New Zealand look a pretty polished team. And we take pride in keeping the score down to zero. And straight away, there was almost pick and scoring in the first few seconds. Remember, he hasn't scored for New Zealand before. Manu Tuolo is still out there for, or the coach for Tonga is still wanting high standards for his team. And they win the ball nicely now as we see Paul Avili. Just trying a line ranger. And that would have been spectacular had still not been alert to that. Across their three pool games. Well, that's given away in midfield. Here's Wisniewski. Now Thomas picking again. Good pass. Ditford almost getting around that defender. What a great challenge that was. But the beautiful thing for New Zealand is that there's been very little drop-off in standard with these substitutes coming into the game at all. They all look skilled players of equal ability. And uh, also Twig has Prowling for a second right there. We saw a couple of goals scored in that fashion by New Zealand in the first half. Oh, and that one is in. Adam Paulson has scored. His fourth for New Zealand, his first of the tournament. And there is the first goal of the second half. And it was a ripper too from Adam Paulson. In the 28th minute. It's a long goal, long time coming, that goal for New Zealand. Here's Paulson again. Oh, he's having fun now. Back-to-back -back goals in the space of seconds for Paulson. It's 10-0. Brilliant goal for Adam Paulson. Paulson. That is very nice. There's the 11th goal for New Zealand. Ashby Peckham. Very nice indeed. Futsal's a very pretty sport when things click. There's no doubt about it. And there's his hat trick. Stephen Ashby Peckham. And that second goal will live long in the memory. And that's just tidy. So 11 to nil. And here's Paulson on the charge again. Oh, yes. Lovely play there from Gray. And this time it is Ali who gets the goal. Well, four goals now since half time. And that's uh, basically, if you're watching outside in the, in the Pacific somewhere, it's an hour and 45 minutes from now. And that's a great stop. Oh, no, it isn't. Hard luck for Otokolu. As Wisniewski gets on the score sheet. 
Very nice finish by Logan Wisniewski. Well, he couldn't resist to have a dig from long range. And in it goes. In fact, it's been ruled an own goal by the officials. Here's another one, perhaps. Saved off the line by Paul Avili. It's Hawkins wide out on that left side. And again, New Zealand deliberately moving into the area now. Goes Manikim. Oh, that would have been pretty had that gone in. Here comes New Zealand again. This is Martin. Oh, yes. Martin buries that one. Second goal of the game for him. 14 to nil. Martin got one in the 15th minute of the game in the first half, and he gets a second goal there. And yes, well finished by Ethan Martin. And then the own goal before Martin scored, as we see Paulson. Nice play. Good save by Faxi Yeki. He did really well there. And that will be the end of the game with New Zealand completing a very comfortable win here. And they win over Tonga by 14 goals to nil. Stephen, congratulations, player of the match and a win for your side. You must be very satisfied. Yeah, yeah, pretty happy with that. Uh, happy to get three wins out of three in the group stage, and now just going to focus on the semi-final. Well, it'll be Solomon Islands in that semi-final. Have you had much opportunity to watch their matches up to this point so far? Yeah, we've caught a few of their games so far, and they're always an exciting side and always going to be a big challenge. So, yeah, we're going to focus for that, and I uh, think it's going to be a pretty good game. What sort of challenge do you think you'll face from them that you maybe haven't had so far in the group stage? Well, just individually, I think they're, they're all quite skillful and talented and uh, they've got a really good knowledge of the game as well. So it's going to be a, a big challenge for us, for sure. And uh, heading into the semi-finals, three wins from three in the group stage, very satisfactory. But what areas could you look to improve on before that semi-final? Just for us, just keeping the standards high. We know what we're capable of. Um, but yeah, just holding each other accountable and keeping the standards high within the, within the team. Well, congratulations on the win today and good luck in the final four. Cool. Thank you very much. Marvin, congratulations on the victory. Three wins from three in the group stage. You must be very satisfied. Yeah, I think if you could offer any team three wins from three, you'd take it. And I'm pretty proud about how we've kind of gone about that. Each game's had its own different challenges, and the guys have kind of risen each time. So it'll be Solomon Islands in the semi-final. Um, how much have you have you seen of them so far in, in their group stage? Uh, we've watched every every minute, if I'm honest. Um, it's kind of the game everyone wants, I think, to see, and, and we're kind of itching uh, to have another, have another round with them because they're such a good side. In terms of the challenge that they'll present, uh, how much of a, a difference do you think that will be from what you've experienced in the three group matches so far? Uh, the Solomons are special in what they do. Their individual ability has always been um, kind of revered in the region. Uh, and they've still got that, their ability to score goals um, and the passion that they always have uh, when they jump on that court. And today it was a big win for your team. What was the message to your side before kick-off today? Uh, things we were trying to focus on was really just quality. Uh, making sure that we, we did things well and at the right times. Uh, and after a bit of a, a slower start, um, due to a, a really resolute Tongan side, um, it took us a while to get going. But the guys kind of lifted and got there in the end and we saw some nice goals. Well, I've got to be happy with three wins from three, but if there are any areas for improvement before you face the Solomon Islands, what would they be? Uh, to be honest, I think we're on the right track. I think we'll, uh, we'll go into that game feeling pretty good and I think just building 5% on everything we've been doing. Well, congratulations on the win today and good luck against Solomons. Thank you.